happy to see me too. That was enough. Fine. I'm not, I don't know really that I'll come back. Then don't come back. I'll carry your ice cream for you. Yeah. You really want to know? Yeah, baby, because you look amazing. Thank you. I know I look cute. <laughs> but honestly, he sucked ass. I don't know if it's a thing or going thing. I'm just making jokes. About where? About me coming to his child's naming ceremony. Your kids? Oh. No. His kids? Yeah. So yesterday's party or yesterday's, you know, romantic date between Adekule and Vanita, that is the Adenitas, you know, it turned out to be a sour party where one ended up crying bitterly, the other one ended up, you know, telling the other party what they always have been hiding for the nine weeks. I was wondering, guys, could it be that uh, Hadekule could actually not fake it, you know, all through you know, he had actually been faking it for nine weeks now. He thought that this is the right time to unleash himself. Or could it be that he's so calculative, you know, by being jumping from one ship to another, and now that he feels that this is the right time to actually break up with Vanita? Guys, I can't tell why the most anticipated dinner of the week turned out to be the biggest plot twist in the house. I really can't tell. Who actually planned this plot? Was it Adekule or Vanita? Oh. And now, the climax of it, these guys were quarreling, they were having, you know, heated conversation. But the DJ, the DJ, continued with playing his romantic music amid the chaos, guys. So, it turned out to be something that uh, was... Uh, Ironically, in nature, guys. And uh, I don't lie, guys. This plot twist was a mind-blowing one. Vanita decided to pay for the party on Sunday. And guys, I don't know whether she expected such a thing to happen. I think these guys were trying just to mimic uh, the likes of uh, Shags, the likes of Emmanuel and Luke Rose. You know, they were trying to bring out the best out of it. But I doubt whether this was a real ship. This was a fake one. Because these guys have been having quarrels from time to time. And we've been seeing that energy where Eleba is saying, where Vanita is saying that this man has not been reciprocating the same energy. It's true. It is true. Even when they want to kiss, you just see that these guys are not reciprocating the energy. So these guys have been having issues here and here, and no, now we have seen how you know they have lived for nine weeks, and now it is true that there was no spark between them. It is a dead romance, guys. So here I want just to spill what really happened during the disastrous dinner. Uh, so kindly, let me officially welcome you back before I spill everything. Feel welcome this channel if you're joining for the first time please consider subscribing and also press on the post notification so that anytime i post a video you don't miss them out now with that said let's get straight into the video so i feel that uh, in this ship there has been kind of uh, the controlling nature of vanita vanita want to control things the way she handles things you know if there's an issue between between her and adekule and she has this feeling of not talking she'll literally tell adekule i don't want to talk I don't want to talk to you now. And when she feels that she's the right time, her right time to talk, she'll let, definitely go to Adekule and start, you know, a talk, which is not convenient with the man. So the man thinks that uh, Venita has been controlling, you know. And uh, at times you could literally, literally see them, you know, blowing out. And that is what led to these guys uh, not sleeping on the same bed that particular day when they broke up where Adekule slept on the couch and then later went to the garden. I think you remember, guys. Now, before the party, these guys had had a quarrel. And Adekule felt that all the quarrels that he had with uh, Vanita were all boiling down to her behaviors. Because uh, most of the time, these guys were not talking. They didn't talk, guys, for a very long time. So I almost thought that these guys would not even talk during the, the dinner. 
So during the dinner, we saw them getting their food. Everybody got their food. They ate. And Adekule was not eating. He was just drinking. But Vanita was eating. And amidst eating, Vanita was talking so much. He was, she was saying a lot. And in between, you know, she could drop words like, you know, I feel... Uh, this is not this is not what I expected from the party, you know. I expected something good. Are you okay? And Adekule was like, you know, you've asked the question. I'm okay, but I have something to say. Adekule asked a question during the Oraimo task. She overheard Vanita commenting, you know, saying that she doesn't want to be in a group with you know this salty M, you know, you know M O T H E R. F U K, you know, salt is something that something of the sort, you know. Now he said that he was feeling that he doesn't want to be with such kind of people in the group. Now it was this time that Adekule asked whether she was referring to him as the salty MF, and Venita literally said that you know he was she was not referring to him, and she was referring to who to Paris. So guys, this became a bone of contention. This is what brought the fight. And other things also brought it. So Adekule was like, now who are you talking to? And Vanita was like, you know, you should know when I'm talking to you and when I'm not talking to you. And Adekule was like, you know what? That's why I have asked. So this became a bone of contention and they talked about it. They quarreled about it, guys. And it became a fight. Now, I know Adekule is very calculative and he knows that uh, people really go far in the house eh, when they have sheep. And he has been in this sheep for nine weeks and he has fans. They have fans outside here. That's why they have not been voted because of the sheep. Many people support the sheep. Are, people who support the sheep are always very many. So he's been voted and he has always been supported. So he feels that. It is the ninth week or the tenth week he should actually break off from Vanita because when he feels that, you know, he's very optimistic anyway that he's going to go to the finals. But when he goes to the final with Vanita, he feels that most of the votes will be split just to get the winner. So he deemed it wise to actually break off from this ship at this particular time. Now, after the party, we saw these guys. Not even before the party. Before the party ended, guys, it was just chaos. It was just chaos. So, and and even Adekule decided to carry his food and leave Venita alone in the garden. He went to the house with food. Now, no sooner had he gone to the the to the round table where Perry was, and you know they were waiting for the gist, than Vanita, you know, sprang from the garden came inside the house and I think this was Angel telling her, oh, you look good. Yes, I look good. I look good. But he is a sucker. So he was referring to, you know, Adekule as a sucker. So Perry was surprised. People were amazed. People were surprised, were bemused. Look at their faces. Because what can really happen for the good party to turn out to be sour like this? So Vanita went straight to the head of house lounge, you know, and, uh, Adekule was just there with his boys chilling and all that stuff. And then literally, guys, after this, we saw Vanita shedding tears, sobbing and crying in the toilet because she's at broken. She feels at broken. Now, it was this particular moment that she opened up to Angel to tell Angel the reason as to why the party was not good. We had her telling Angel that uh, Adekule had told her that uh, she, would she would actually you know, invite her in a party where... He was going to name his child. So I don't know how this became an issue, guys, until they broke up, you know. It was funny. And then, guys, people were surprised again about this naming child. So what is left of us to wonder is whether Adikule is having a wife who is yet to deliver, you know, because the boy has not, the child has not been delivered and has not been named. And why has he been behaving this way? So guys, that remains a mystery. I just want to stop this video here and let me, uh, if you have any comment, guys, just go to the comment section and drop it there. What do you think about this dinner which turned out to be disastrous, guys? Let me see you in my next video which is dropping soon and bye-bye for now.